All right, we are going to create a lofted column um, with three different um, cross sections uh, using Revit and the generic model adaptive that gives us some um, specialized modeling options. So I'm going to go to Family and New here, and I'm going to go to English Imperial, scroll down a little bit, and pick Generic Model Adaptive. Open that, and I'm going to come and just change the background um, from the gradient to none, which will give me a white background. This so opens up with a base plane, a level, and then two uh, reference planes in the middle. So the first thing I'm going to do is go to my reference level, and I'm just going to go to reference and create an inscribed polygon here. Um, and make sure the sides are set to seven, and we'll make this one kind of small. So this is the base section. Uh, maybe it's like one foot six. That's a good number. And then if I go to um, back to my 3D, you can see it's sitting there. I'm going to go to um, WTZA and I'm going to create a couple of points to create the rest of the polygons on. Um, you could create levels, it's kind of up to you, but um, I'm just going to go to point here um, and I'll come and zoom in and I'll pick in the center there and I'm going to pick that point. I'm going to name it 2. All right, and then I'm going to, while it's selected, I can set its offset. So I'll set that to 12 feet, All right? Whoops, missed it. Pick it again, 12, and then pop it out. And then I'm just going to set um, the XY plane of this current. So it's wanting the vertical plane, but if I tap the tab key, it'll give me the horizontal. Okay, and then I'm going to create another point, um, and let's set the reference level current All right let's go ahead and do it over here so it'll snap there we go and then I'll do the same thing with this one pick that give it a name three and go ahead and set the offset to um, let's set it to 36 feet okay and you'll see those guys and then I'm gonna go ahead and um, set that current. Alright, so now I want to draw the polygons um, on those points. So I can do that here um, in the reference level. I'll go to reference and polygon um, and I'll come and set reference point 3 for the first one. So I'll do the top one and then the middle one. So reference point 3 and then I'll pick um, the center here. Maybe this one is kind of big, you know, like maybe Right, so you can see it creating over there. And then I'll go to um, reference polygon and I'll set reference two, reference point two, and I'll pick in the middle. And maybe this one's not so big, maybe it's three feet, right? And you can see it creating. So basically, getting these guys um, in order, and then I can pick them and so I'm just picking the line, the reference lines that I made, right? And if I go to create form, it will create that. Now, if I go to um, wireframe, right, I still have access to the points. So if I wanted to move this point over, right, these polygons are hosted to them. So I can kind of start moving these guys around and get sort of different, you know, um, different kind of, um, you know, lofting from it. Now, it's not, there's not a function to sort of join it with a surface, so you're kind of st stuck with a little flat thing, but it, you know, it works pretty well. So when we come back, we'll look at um, using Dynamo to sort of pull this curve onto a surface and make it connect to that surface.